Okay, there's been a few um, inquiries regarding CGM bets um, and how to how to um, select matches. So I'm going to start at the beginning. I think um, I'm just going to remove all my filters out of the way. It's a bit loud. That's better. So if we uh, Move all the filters out of the way. So, what I basically do is I um, let's uh, refresh that. I reset that and then refresh again. There you go. So, when you come into CGM Bet, um, you hit the screen. Um, I just want to introduce down here so this will give you some um, accumulators based on statistics from CGM bets um, accumulate a day um, will just give you what they think is a good chance of an accumulator coming in Gillingham, Milan and, and uh, Sevilla home team to win, home team to win, home team to win yeah so it's up to you to put that on, it's just a bit of fun um, but I normally go. I normally have a look at them first, and then I normally go up to the upcoming tab up the top left hand side here. Okay, so I normally go into that, and then that gives me the day's games for um, up here. So uh, I've selected the tenth already, um, and that gives me what the games are tomorrow. Um, so you can see there's quite a few. Okay. So then, what I now need to do is I, I'm not going to I'm not going to trade 54 games. So um, what I'm doing, you're going to do now is I'm going to limit the games and try and leave on the screen games that I feel might be tradable. So if you come down to the section down here first, okay, I will tend to go into filters, this button here, and then I tend to go into odds. Okay, once I've hit that, I then get all these. You can put the odds of the home team, the away team, the odds of the draw if you want. Um, odds are under 2.5, odds of over 2.5. This is the market I like. I've already preset these to 1 to 1 1.8, um, and then click apply. What that does then, it removes all the games where the odds are over 1.8 on the over 2.5 market. This is the over 2.5 market here, so you can see there's nothing above 1.8. Great. So, the reason I do that is it's it's set that for a price set that price for a reason because the bookies believe there's going to be goals in the game, and I like goals in my trading. I know those people do the under 2.5s, but I like the over 2.5 market because if I get bored and just wait for no goals to be scored, um, so. I've got what 17 games now to go through so I'm gonna go through the first couple and then um, just just to show what it is I actually look for when I'm looking for games so Sparta against Feyenoord is the first game it kicks off at quarter past 11 tomorrow it's in the Dutch of the Vissi. so if we click on that once and you highlight a blue bar come to head to head down here and click on that let the game load up Okay, the first thing I do is down here you got home versus away because at the moment you can see when it loads up it just gives you the last 14 whatever games they played this season. So I tend to go home versus away. So then I'm looking at the home team's home games and the away team's away games. The reason I do that is because teams play differently at home when they do away and vice versa. So that is how I'm looking. You know some teams they, they're fantastic at home. Um, take Liverpool this season, they've been fantastic at home, they go away and they um, the record's been a bit dodgy this season, so that's um, that's why I click home and away. Right, so on here you can see how many games they've actually won, so they've won two games, drawn two and lost three, and that's the record there, and, and you can also look at um, overs and unders and goals. This is quite good. So overs, five of their games has gone over. 
and two of the games have gone under. So out of seven games, five of their games have actually hit overs. Um, the goals on average, they score around about 2.29 goals a game, and they can see two. So for me, looking at goals, Sparta was an ideal team to go for. Again, the away side, Feyenoord, they've won five away, drawn one, lost one, so they're in fantastic form. They've had five games that go over, and two games have gone under. Goals again, they're scoring around about two, two and a half goals a game, and they're conceding just the one. So already you can see that this game's got potential for goals. Just one more thing I like to do beforehand is look at up here. So in this section called goals, I come up here and I will just click refresh. Okay, so I've got my team, Spartan and Feyenoord. I go in for minute one and the scores are obviously nil-nil. If you go with the last five seeds, you can go anywhere you want on here. Um, if you go last three if you want and then click refresh and that will give you everything that you need. What you're looking for here, if you go um, last five, let's go back. Okay, so what I'm looking for, actually let's go three. Uh, three sounds right, 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 number five seasons is a bit long, three seasons, it's teams don't change that much. So, you're looking at the, whatever mark you're into, so if you look at under 2.5, you can see how many, the percentage of games that have gone under 2.5. But if you're looking um, at the half time market under 2.5, most of the games have gone under 2.5 in the half time market. Um, if you're looking at over 0 0.5, they're going to, you know, 70% of the games have had a goal. Um, and then it obviously drops as you go further down. But I'm interested in this market, it's the over 2.5 goal market of 62.3%. So that tells me that this game has got an above average chance of actually getting over two and a half goals. So we're going to include this game in the market because obviously they can score goals. So let's click on that one and then so I right clicked on the on the blue bar. And that brings me to this box here. So I can write some notes if I want to in here. And then I can click what I've handed the game. So there's a home win, draw win, away uh, away win. There's a double chance, I don't know what that means, GG, MG, again, I don't know, uh, penalty red cards, first kick off. Um, so I'm going to highlight this as an over 2.5 game, and click save. So then, there it highlights why I've saved the game of an over 2.5. Just do the same for Roma and Inter Milan, so we're going to go head to head again. And we're going to go home and away again. Okay. Both these sides, the top sides in Italy, some of the two of the top sides, and um, I've been for a few years. So let's delve deeper in. So we know that in, that Roma have won six out of eight, and they've drawn two. They haven't lost a home this season. Into Milan with a shock 2-1 defeat to Sampdoria on the 6th of January. But they've won five, drawn two, and lost one. So the record's pretty similar back to the last game. Home and away. So, five games have gone over, three games have gone under. Uh, Sassuolo, Juventus has gone over, so um, Fiorentina and the last game against Sampdoria. Sampdoria seems to be wrecking the game cards. But yeah, you can see that uh, um, five games have gone over, three games have gone under. And the goals. So, they average around two two goals a game. A bit more than that. Okay, the nil nil probably put it down a little bit. So they're probably averaging two to three goals a game. And Inter Milan, they five games have gone over, three games have gone under. They're scoring about 2.25 goals a game, but they're only conceding one goal a game. Straight away, alarm bells start to ring here. Okay, because I like the game. The game, they, they both score goals. But my God, they're both tight at the back. Not only when you get two giants like that, who are very good defensively. You're not going to get many goals. So, let's check this game out. Um, refresh, make sure you got the Roma run into there. And it's actually been 62% of these games have actually gone over. So, we're going to have it. Um, and we're going to see how it goes tomorrow. 
Okay, so let's do one more just to get it in. Okay, Dan Star against Hanover. So if you click on Dan Star with the blue bar and click on the head to head box here. Okay, again, click on home versus away. And then that gives you your home games and your away games for each team. Right, Dan Star. Let's have a look at Dan Star. You can see you've got a mixed bag here. So they've won two at home, they've drawn two and lost two. There was a mixed bag. Uh, Hanover, they're just in worse form. So they've only won one, drawn one, and lost five. So immediately you start thinking, well, these were probably two of the worst teams in the pre in the division. Okay. Four and a half games have actually gone over, and two games have actually gone under. Three and four, again, for um, Hanover. So three games over, four games under. So it is a mixed bag, you know. But this is where you, you start, alarm bell, start ringing for this game. So they've scored around about one, one and a half goals a game. And the 4 0 against Braunschweig has probably upped that up that a little bit. They do concede one goal on average a game. They've had a couple of nils, but they've been hammered as well, fours and stuff. So, yeah. Hanover, again, they barely score away from home. They scored in a couple, but not many. And they've conceded 1.43. So, if I was a better man, I would say it's probably going to be 1 0. <laughs> um, but it's not a game that I'm I'm very excited about, let's put it that way. So if, click refresh again, last three seasons. Make sure you got your down start against Hanover. They played it quite together a lot. And in all the last three seasons, only 56%, it's a bit low, have actually gone over. And looking at the goal record, I think we can pass on that game. Okay, let's just do this one more. Paderborn in the Bundesliga 2 against O. Okay, so just on this as well, well before before I um, leave it, I just want to explain. So obviously you've got the league here, the Bundesliga 2. You've got the time and the date of the kickoff. What round of it is, so this is round 15. The team, Paderborn, and the away team, O. And then you've got these two numbers here, so you've got a T and a H. The T is where they are in the table, so at the moment Paderborn are 13th in the table. And the ones in brackets are the where they are in the home table. So out of all the home matches played, these are lying 10th. Same for R, they're 6th in the table, but they're 9th in the away table. And then you've got the odds for the home, the draw and the away. Um, and over 2.5 and the 2.5 etc. So that just explains that a little bit there, okay? So then you go to head to head. And again, you click home versus away. And that gives you the team's home against the team's away. So let's start off with the home team first, okay? Palabon. They've won three out of uh, six. They've drawn one and lost two. A mixed bag. Three games have gone over, three games have gone under. Don't really score that many goals. And around about one, one and a half goals a game. And they concede the same for one to one and a half goals a game. Or another one, they've um, mixed bag, they've won two, drawn two, lost three. They've scored, they've uh, got four games that's gone over, three games that's gone under. But they don't really score, they score probably about a goal a game, and they concede the same. So again, I'm not really filled with excitement on that one. If you click to goals and click refresh, make sure you've got Palabon and O in there. Been a lot of games, 478 altogether, and over 2.5 being 54%. So that's another game I don't think we're going to be loading up. But that's basically how I picked the games. Um, nice and it's nice and simple. I mean, you can probably go through the whole table in in what 20 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 more minutes, um, and get and be able to get your games for tomorrow. Uh, or the next day, I believe doing the day before all these, then you're set up ready for them to go on the next day. Um, on the left, on the right hand side here, is you can, you can also filter down, so you can click home and away. Um, and then you can either put scored in games, and then down here you can filter these out, so you can put more than 70%. You can put second half if you wanted. So you've basically scored in the second half of games more than 70%.
Um, if I didn't want to reset that, uh, yeah, I can always get back to this. So then if you click refresh, and then you can just show here. So you can see if, um, if at least only one team's highlighted. So as you can see, two games I've got, they're highlighted, which is good. Uh, both these teams are highlighted and Inter have been highlighted. Mechelen, Beerschart, Amsterdam and Eindhoven. Uh, let's click on this one here. Both Besiktas and Hatiaspo. So again, you can highlight it out if you want. Um, if for you looking at unders, um, you can go under 2.5. And you need to go full time with that one. And then, if you want to go over seventy percent, again, if you click refresh, hoping my two games out there now. <laughs> and then, if you click on show, only if both teams are highlighted, I think is the best thing to do. So then, it gives you two games where you're looking at unders two point five goals in 70% of the games and then you can basically just go in have a check if it's what you want and then see if the game but then the Brazilian Serie A and Brazilian Serie B um, and it's basically that simple so I'm just going to go back to where I was before um, just go like refresh and my filters back on apply so that's it it's so easy i mean i know it's a lot when you go into this and it can be a lot but um once you start playing with it and have a look at it um it's it's pretty straightforward i mean again it just takes time and everything so that's it that's um cgm bets um Basically, what I do then, if there's a half time comes, I trade um, half time second half games. Um, all I do then is just click on the game. So it was half time this game. I just click on the game, go head to head, home and away, and then just click goals uh, as I've done before. Click refresh, make sure it's the game on. And all I do then is just put the time in. So I'll just put 46 in because it's half time. Um, for instance, this game was nil-nil at half time. Um, if you click refresh, then that will tell you that this game has not got much chance of going over 2.5. But with it nil-nil, it's hardly surprising. But only over 1.5, 50%. So it's pretty low. So you're looking really for a goal. I mean, if that was say one nil, for instance, and you click refresh, it's still pretty low, isn't it? I mean, if that was one nil. So that's interesting um, how that's worked out. So there's been five games where um, Roma have been leading 1-0 going into the second half, a half-time lead, and all five games have gone over 2.5 goals. So again, it's about scenarios, but different scenarios that you can pick. So I normally go into this before um, I do any trades. And um, I normally just double-check, and then I check the in-play stats using Trader Edge. And see if it is following the um, the rules. So that's it. Um, I hope that's helped a little bit. Uh, people who are interested in CGM bets, um, and um, or people who've got it and they're not quite sure how it's used or whatever. So hope that's that's how I use it mostly. I know there's other people out there who use it differently because there's that much on it. You you know there's no one way of using it, but um, that's how I use it. Let's get back to what's coming. I'm going to go through the rest of these games now um, and see what I'm actually going to be trading tomorrow. So far, I've got two out of four. So, um, good luck and stay green.